How you doing? So, on Twitter yesterday, Matthias posted a little interesting tweet, which was about how you would maybe give a nav component some sticky properties in some instances, say on some pages, and not sticky on others. And Matthias's technique, super sound, would be to put that component in a wrapper and then give that wrapper a class of is sticky if you wanted it to be sticky or remove that class if you um, wanted it to not be sticky. Now, I think from a usability point of view, this makes sense from a dev, um, if you have dev knowledge of what classes do. But sometimes for clients, they want it a little bit more simply, especially the, the marketing team. Um, so what we have here is the ability for us to use a component and data attributes together. So I replied to Matthias there, um, and I think Matthias is actually German for Matt, or uh, Matthew, or Matthew is actually English for Matthias, um, depending on where you're from. Um, but I suggested that we could use data attributes with components. So what I'm going to do is do a quick run through, very simple, of how we'd use it for a simple light and dark theme. So let's look at what we have here. So I've got a basic pre-built setup here. Um, it's Reloom-esque layout here. I'm actually using Mast for this. Um, but what we have here is we have two of the same components. We have section header one and another section header one. The first instance is a nice light theme. So we have a, a white background. We have a dark text. We have a dark button here, and we have a, a button here which is um, has an outline. But it's nice and easy to, to look at. Then we have the same component, but the dark theme. So a dark background, and here the text has been changed to white, and so the buttons have, have been changed as well. So what's going on here? Okay, so the difference here between section this first one and this one is that in this one, if we look on the right on the component props here, the properties, we can see that this one has a theme of dark. If we remove dark, it goes back to the original. Um, so what I'm going to do is just unpack what's going on here. So the first things first is let's go and look at an actual staging site and look at what's going on on the console. So this is the carbon copy of what's going on in Webflow so on the staging. And the fact that we've, we go right click inspect, we can look into what's going on behind the scenes here. So I'm just going to select this section element here and you can see it here. We've got this and I'm just going to collapse it quickly so we can see. So this is the, the one without the dark theme and this is the one with the dark theme. So you can notice here that we've got a property here. So this is a, an attribute of theme. And in the second one, it says theme equals dark. So you can see that's pulling in, essentially what it's pulling in is the value of dark from the component there. And what is that doing? Well, there's two things it's doing. So what it's doing is it's giving us a little hook to put some CSS on. And with CSS, you can write some custom CSS and you can hook onto the data attribute and its value. So if we look down here on the styles, what we can see is we have a, a rule here, CSS rule, which is theme equals dark. Make the background color the variable of color dark gray. So we have a variable in here. And then we make the color, so color is text color, is white. And obviously we don't have that on here, so it, it, the rule is not getting applied. There's also a nested rule again where we look at the button here. So we can see in here theme equals dark a button, so a button within a theme that equals dark, we make that background color white and the color um, dark gray. So again, we we can control what what um, the format CSS formatting is of elements within um, a parent section. So let's go in and, and show you how to do this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to detach this instance here, and we're going to look at deconstructing it. So Let's open these up a little bit here. So we've got a, a very basic format here. You know, we've got row columns, and then we've got some content in here, a header, a paragraph, um, some buttons. We've got a button here, which is just a standard button, and then we've got a button which is has a combo class of a combo class dash light. So 
where do we put this data attribute? So what we're going to do, we're going to put it at the parent level. So on the section here, if we go to settings, we have a custom attribute here. So if I delete this now, we can see this. it's got no custom attributes. And what does that mean? Well, it, this element here, so if I go into the, this here, would not be appearing. So this, this is the data attribute here. So what we're going to do is just going to add that and go name is theme. And we don't actually want to put a value in here. Now, we could put a default value in here. For example, we could write light. But for this purposes, we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave it blank. So that means that we now have a, a custom attribute here that we can hook onto. So what do we do? What Well, first of all, we'll go into the custom CSS. The way we do custom CSS is we have this sort of grouping of custom CSS. And we have our general. And then we have a just little um, HTML bed for theme. So let's open this. OK, this is getting interesting. So what we can see here is we've got a style tag, which is what we use for custom CSS. And this is how you target a data attribute. So in essence, and I'll just write it here, is you have data the data attribute. And then you would say target the value inside that data attribute. And then you would put your your standard normal CSS um, values here. For example, we we could say font size is two rem. So that means that if the data attribute equals value, then the font size will be two rem. In this instance, what we've got is theme equals dark. So when the theme is dark, apply the CSS. And now what we're using is we're using the nested functionality, a re re relatively recent um, development for CSS. It means that if you put another class inside this, it means that any button within a parent that has a theme equals dark will also take on these values. So here we're putting the background color and the text color. So this is this is great. Um, and then we'll we'll save that. But nothing is is changing on this front. So let's see if we go, and we won't be doing it on a component level. Let's just do it on a settings level. If we said the is dark, oh, dark, we can see that, that that now is applying that CSS. So how do we turn this into a component? Well, let's turn it into a component, and I'm just going to call it a temp component for now, because we want to delete it later, and. What we're going to do is we are going to just join up these elements. So um, we don't actually need to do this for this demo, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, is this will be the title? Uh, title text. You can skip over this part if you're very familiar with this. And then this is going to be the. Um, I'm going to call it description text. Um, and then we're going to. Go well. Let's not do the buttons. Let's do the images, and let's go the image. And now, what we need to do is actually get hold of that attribute. So, if I click on section here, we can see that this attribute is here. If I click into this, it now gives us the ability to link it to a component value. So, if I click on here, I can create and connect a new property. So, what I'm going to do here is going to go and just call it theme. And again, there's no default text we're going to put in here, but we could if we wanted to. We could put light, for example, or dark. So let's create that. And what does that do? Well, it means that now we've got a component and we've got all the elements in here. First of all, this is something that I quite like doing is if you go to the props panel, you can actually now reorder the property. So I'm going to put theme at the top because that's probably the most important part of this component. And here we go. If we put in dark, it now changes it to dark. So yeah, so that's a very, very simple use case of using this, but you can use it for all sorts. Um, you can use it for that, that sticky example that Mateus had. You can use it for any CSS formatting you want. Um, you can even use it for just putting a data attribute that you might want JavaScript to hook onto as well. So you might want exactly the same component, but you might want it to behave in a slightly different way, depending um, on where, where in the site it is. Um, and this can be used for that as well. So yeah, hopefully that was useful and um, see you on the next video.